news now, as I'll show you in a minute. But this morning, first of all, uh, Helston took the brunt of it. They had 125 millimetres up to uh, about midday today, and it's hardly surprising they had those floods. Over a couple of inches of rain spell in the sp fell in the space of just an hour, almost four inches in the space of two hours. And we have some very vicious storms around at the moment, more particularly at the uh, right present time in northern England, heading in towards southern England. But there could be almost any at any time due to that area of low pressure that's going to be lurking with us right the way through tonight and indeed for much of tomorrow. This is the way things are looking on the latest uh, satellite picture. Some really vicious storms making their way across the English Channel at the moment, more brewing up over France, some over northern parts of the country. So it is going to be pretty nasty in many parts at the moment. This is where the nastiest weather is, southern Scotland, down through northern England in the English Channel. Let, let's zoom in and have a look at those two areas because I'm sure that if you're in, say, Lancaster or round about Leeds or Manchester, you can probably hear the thundering, thunder rumbling around right now. And there's a storm heading across the channel, as I say. It's got Eastbourne's name on it in the next hour or so, and it'll be moving up towards London probably during the course of the evening. So although it is bright and there will be some late evening sunshine, hazy sunshine in some places, generally speaking, we're going to have a good deal of cloud around, and these showers meandering around the country, some of them heavy, some of them thundery, and giving some really uh, quite uh, large downpours and then during the rest of the night it's going to turn out to be misty and murky virtually everywhere good deal of cloud around and still those outbreaks of heavy and thundery rain cropping up almost anywhere and at any time although they tend to ease off i think later on in the night and it's going to be a very warm and sticky night the temperatures at their lowest around about 15 or 17 even degrees in the southeastern corner of the country there's tomorrow's chart very little has changed in fact what you can't see there is that there's a small area of low pressure that's going to be sitting more or less over southern parts of the midlands so it is going to be another pretty cloudy day. In fact, it'll start off dull and misty. I think there'll still be one or two of those outbreaks of thundery rain around. It will be brightening up, though. I think many places will enjoy some fleeting glimpses of rather watery sunshine during the course of the day, but that's only going to once again set off these heavy and thundery showers, and some of them could well merge into some longer spells of uh, really heavy rain once again. It is going to be a very warm and sticky day in most parts of the country. The temperature is getting up as high as 26 or 27 degrees once that sun breaks through. But there will be some spots, I think, that are a bit cooler around some of these coasts, for instance, especially that eastern coast where the wind will be coming in off the sea and it'll bring one or two patches of fog with it, uh, as well as the uh, lower temperatures. And then on Friday, we keep a good deal of cloud. We keep further outbreaks of thundery rain, but very gradually during the course of the day, somewhat brighter weather edging in from the west. Certainly had some nasty weather around today, not least of all in Cornwall, where in uh, there they had this morning a couple of inches of rain or so in just an hour four inches of rain in two hours. And I think there's going to be some more thunderstorms around during the rest of tonight, giving some heavy rain and local flooding all down that western side and even some bits and pieces of rain elsewhere. There's the culprit, that area of low pressure. If we zoom in a little bit, you can see it sitting around about the sort of South Wales, Bristol area at the moment. A lot of isobars around it as well. And those strong winds indeed have been filtering from Ireland across Wales into the West Country. They're going to move along the English Channel as well later on today. So I wouldn't think it's uh, advisable to go out in a small boat just for the time being. Weather-wise, a lot of cloud around, a lot of those outbreaks of rain, some really heavy and persistent rain as well. There is a little brightness here and there, for instance, in eastern Scotland, the extreme southeast of England. I think the best place to enjoy the sunshine today, though, is eventually going to be western Scotland. And over most of Scotland, it should indeed stay dry, maybe just a little drizzle in places. But the really heavy rain is going to be for Northern Ireland, through Wales, and the West Country parts of central southern England maybe as well. Elsewhere there will be a scattering of bursts of rain but it will equally well be a fair bit of dry weather in between. Now it's much much cooler in those western areas, quite a strong wind holding those temperatures down to around 14 degrees or so in places. If you get a little bit of brightness in the northwest there, temperatures should go up uh, fairly well, warm 21 degrees or so. In other parts also not as warm as it has been recently. Then during this evening and tonight still a lot of cloud around, still further outbreaks of rain. Again most of it through Northern Ireland Wales in the southwest, the rain in other areas tending to get lighter and beginning to peter out and a misty, murky night as well. But the only area really, I think, guaranteed to stay dry once again is going to be Scotland. Those are the temperatures. There's the area of low pressure still around tomorrow. It does mean that brighter weather will edge a little bit further south, but still some rain in places. And although it be heavy in hours or so, it is certainly going to get better. We can see what happened today. This is the the red stuff, the thundery rain over Huan did know earlier on in the day, and throughout the day it's mainly western Wales, the southwest of England has had that, that arc, if you like, that line of very heavy rain. But further east we have seen thin lines of thunderstorms, there's one there at the moment just to the north of London, but they're much smaller than they were last night. 
Now at the same time, the heaviest rain in Wales is not far away from where that flooded caravan site was, but generally things are drifting slowly southwards. Throughout the day, the edge of Cornwall, the bottom tip of Cornwall, has been dry but very windy. That too is about to change. The low pressure area that's bringing everything is sitting roughly in the western Midlands and the rain is really around its uh, western flank. Now, as this low drifts slowly south and then east overnight into tomorrow, so the rain also will fan its way slowly down in towards the rest of Cornwall, but away from the northern part of Wales. But with the proximity of that low, we can expect showers just about anywhere else in England anyway during the day. So let's have a look at, look at the winds, which are also another feature. You know they're strong over Cornwall. They too will be pretty strong over Cornwall tomorrow and through the channel. Not really very good sailing weather, but they will, I think, to some degree lighten over a large part of Wales. At the same time, we're dragging in pretty cold northerlies and northeasterlies for Scotland and the northeastern part of England. Well, a fine evening tonight for parts of East Anglia and Scotland, but of course the cloud for a large part of the rest of the country. It's going to be a very misty night and a very cloudy night. With the odd rumble of thunder possible up through the northern Midlands, North Wales, possibly in Northern Ireland, the heaviest rain down.